Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel Mariah Davida here and for today's video I will be doing kind of like an unboxing and a demo first impressions wear test all in one so you can see my skin is oily I have oily combination skin and um, I just find my skin is dehydrated like on around my cheek area and especially on my nose it tends to peel a little bit and uh, I need that to change I drink tons of water so clearly I have to like add something else to my routine my skin isn't always peeling don't get it don't get me wrong like for the most part my skin is decent my skin is pretty good for the jeans that I have but um, I think it could be a lot better so I want to see you know it won't hurt uh, if I have a reaction I'll just you know run with the punches but I won't know until I try right came across DCM now I remember DCM which is the umbrella which the ordinary brand is under and I, and I saw that they had it on Sephora and I was like five dollars six dollars the most any of their items are like what fifteen dollars and I'm just like this this is doable for me to just really not have a much of a skincare routine and then all of a sudden jump into one I'd rather experiment with these and I watched a shit ton of reviews on YouTube on these products I watched a couple I watched Daphne Nicole's videos I watched some people that I'm not subscribed to just to kind of see like you know their reactions and like how it kind of worked for them and then I read a lot of the Sephora reviews and then I said you know a lot of these reviews like the, the mass majority of them have good reviews and some of them yeah of course you know you're gonna have your people who have sensitive skin and they react there are things that I might like that I might like that people hate but it works for me like the Huda Beauty foundation I love that foundation a lot of people hate that foundation a lot of people love that foundation so you just never know until you try so that all being said, beauty is between you and you. So I love this packaging. They shipped this really, really quickly. I ordered this on Saturday. It is now Tuesday and it's here. Um, DCM is a Canadian based brand. So I wasn't really doubting that it wouldn't come fast as it did. And it did. So I got four items. I got three skincare items. And of course I had to get a makeup item, right? And I'm gonna. that's what I'm actually going to be testing today. I'm gonna do my skincare off camera and then I'll briefly talk about it but there's nothing that I can really say in depth until maybe a month or two because it takes 28 days for cell turnover in your skin so I'm not gonna really see any results until a month from now and it's April 10th so I will check back in around like my birthday time which will be the end of May so almost two months um, and see if if it's made a difference and um, yeah let me get into what I got so the first item that I'm gonna show is the makeup I got the ordinary um, high coverage um, foundation this foundation is literally like what five dollars or six something I think it's six dollars I think it's six ninety but um it's a full coverage high coverage foundation this is what I'm gonna be testing in this video today and um, I'm really excited for this um, it says a high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues shake before you use to spend small palm into the palm of your hands um, smooth and blend onto face throughout the face ideally so what I'm how I'm gonna apply this today is actually using my morphe brush I've used I've been using this lately for my foundation again and then I'll go over my face with a wet sponge to kind of like further blend it into my skin so I'm gonna be trying this out because I am gonna be going out later today um, the claims on this, I know it says that it's a demi matte finish and stuff. I watched tons of reviews on this foundation. The shade that I got was 3.1Y. I was going to get 3.0, but from the people who've reviewed it already and from the swatches, it kind of looked like an NC45, whereas this looked closer to like an NC50 or like an NC47. So this looks like it's going to match me perfectly actually so I'm really excited to see how this works 
um today and i'm only gonna be you well i'm gonna be using not my fenty beauty primer today i'm gonna be using like my original primer concoction which is my makeup forever step one smoothing and my becca and like all i'm gonna show you in this video towards the end of the clip will be like me like applying it and how like my initial reaction is and then i'll touch base back in throughout but the majority of the, the, this video is obviously going to be it's an unboxing here item that i got was hyaluronic acid plus b5 this is a serum i ne i've never used a serum before ever um so it's gonna be exciting i've seen that people say that this changes the texture of their skin um hyaluronic acid helps to basically attract moisture and lock it into your skin and it aids it basically amplifies your moisturizer that you put on top so basically how i'm going to do it is wash my face as per usual with my african black soap um then i'll tone with the, i'll use the rest of my toner that i have i do want to get my hands on the glycolic acid toner from the ordinary but it's sold out everywhere so i'm i'm just waiting for that to come back in so um yeah i would to, i would tone with my toner then i apply this hyaluronic acid all over my face of course after my toner um dries um so i got that for that i naturally have lines under my eyes i've always had lines under my eyes so i'm not really too worried about that texture but my eye on my upper area does tend, tend to get a little bit um puffy and um i naturally like i do have dark circles um I don't know if you guys can see. I have on a little bit of foundation. But you can see like there's a little bit of darkness here. So um, I got this eye serum. Um, it's the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. Reduces appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and of puffiness. So I've seen a review on this from this girl. And I'm getting makeup all over this bottle. Um, and she used it for basically a month and a half, 40 days. And the results were awesome. Like the before and the after, I was like, wow, it really worked. But I'm going to use this religiously um, above and under my eye and see what it does. And if this doesn't work for me, then they have another one that helps with firming too um so maybe i'll check that out i i don't know i just i'm hoping these go well so we'll see i got a new moisturizer so my nivea i've i've used this moisturizer for years like forever and now i'm retiring that and i'm going to be trying the natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid and it says for surface hydration formula so this is cool because this will penetrate the like, below my surface below my my first layer of a uh, dermis and then this putting this on top putting these two in combination will probably give me some bomb results so i'm really excited i got the 100 ml this was only like seven dollars i think um it really wasn't expensive again the pricing will be across the screen um so yeah this literally says apply after serums as needed for effective surface hydration so it does say surface hydration so using these two together we'll get all over you know full like 360 hydration so i'm really excited i'm gonna go wash my face and tone um with my african black soap i use dudu osan african black soap and um, like I said, the Garnier toner, I'm going to go do that. And then I'll come back, apply these products, and um, try out this foundation. My skin. So naturally, I'm dark under my eyes. Um, and just, you can see I have some scars here and there. I have hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and stuff like that. And my skin's not perfect, um, but it's not like super bad or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna take a before picture, and then I'm gonna apply these products. My toner has dried down, 
So I'm going to actually go in with the serum for my all, all over my face first, then the eye serum. About good. And like pat this all over my face. Doesn't I don't feel like a weird tingling or anything. So in solution and it says massage a small around a small amount onto the eye contour. So I'm just gonna do like probably half a drop for directly under my eye. And I'm gonna use my ring finger for this. And like a little bit above and just pat this in I like the moisturizer uh, my skin feels really nice and soft it's not anything like major but I do like it and I also enjoy the fact that it doesn't have any scent um, my skin doesn't feel weird it's not burning there's no weird reaction to it um, yeah, like I can't complain about anything because there was no stinging under my eyes or anything like it's, it's, it's good. So we're going to go ahead and um, get into priming our skin. Um, I'm going to let it sit into my skin for like another minute and then I'm going to apply my primers and my color corrector and the next clip will be me applying the foundation to shake the foundation well and I'm really zoomed into the camera right now because I want you guys to see it as close as possible me applying this on my skin I primed I color corrected and um I think everything went on as normal so shaking this up and I'm gonna do two pumps and start applying this to my skin so this color is really good and it does spread because it is spreading very well Damn, I'm really glad I um, chose 3.1 and not 3.0 because 3.0 would have been way too light. And to me, the coverage is medium. Um, I don't think this is a full coverage foundation. I think it's medium to full coverage layer. I do like how it looks you can clearly see my skin looks smoother more refined um, it's not bad I am gonna go in with a second layer guys okay, so this is one full layer on my skin no concealer nothing what I'm gonna do is apply my second layer using my sponge um, this is just a quote it's a smaller sponge but I'm gonna go in go in with a second layer I'll show you guys the second layer then I'll do the rest of my face so this is the foundation applied with the second layer and it's not a demi matte finish at all it looks glowy to me but it doesn't look bad and it doesn't um, uh, it doesn't bother me because I apply a lot of powder on my face anyways for my regular routine so once I apply all my powders and stuff I just feel like it'll just balance out um it looks good I did probably I would say I used eight pumps I used two to each side of my face and then I used two again to each side of my face um once I did the sponge and um I would like to have used less product to achieve the results of the coverage that I want but I love how it feels on my skin it doesn't feel like I have anything on my on my skin actually at all in comparison to my other foundations and um 
I can easily see myself finishing a bottle of this if I used it consistently within a month. Mm -hmm. But for the price that you're getting the foundation for, I don't really see that as a bad thing. So I like this. I would give this foundation a four out of five stars. The only thing that it's missing is um, I'm being nice maybe three three out of five stars the only thing that's missing for me is i wish it was less of a glowier glowy finish and uh i wish i could use less product to achieve the full coverage that i want so three out of five stars is my final answer for my initial impression i took a little minute i recorded another intro for another video but it's 4 35 and to be honest i actually didn't even check the timing of when I put this makeup on but um I'm gonna go ahead and say I started my makeup at 2 p.m. um yeah I definitely didn't start it before 2 p.m. or after like I didn't start it around 2 30 so I'm gonna say 2 o'clock it is now um 4 35 p.m. and I am gonna go out I'm gonna go out to the movies and have some dinner and when I come back hopefully I will have had the foundation on for at least six hours we'll see how it works but um I really like how this foundation is sitting on my skin and it literally doesn't feel like I have anything on like I like this I really 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 like how it feels hello sir how do you do your girl was real quick to ripping off these eyelashes because I am so tired. DPM. And I started my makeup at 2, finished it by 4. So, counting from when I started it, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 8 hours, because it's 10 o'clock, 8 hours. And counting from when I finished my makeup, 6 hours. So, I got a full you know typical wear of this look of this makeup and everything is still intact like my face isn't oily like there is a little bit of wearage off around my mouth here and I'm gonna give that because of eating also my battery is gonna die on my nose area but overall I give this foundation now a four out of five because it held up really well I'm very impressed my face still looks like I just applied it Wow very impressed I really like this foundation I'm gonna go because my battery is about to die I hope you guys enjoyed this look and um, this demo sorry I'm so tired thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye loves